and welcome to my channel and we're going to be starting a playthrough of red dead redemption yeah this is the uh the old red dead from the 360 days but apparently i guess it was i guess not remastered but it was um on the backward compatibility list for the xbox one x and apparently it uses the one x hardware so we did buy a 1X back in November with Red Dead 2, but we've not started that game. I've always wanted to see what Red Dead Redemption was all about. Never played it. I watched a little bit of 2 of other people playing it here and there, but I kind of wanted to know what it was like to start from the beginning. And um, so we just got this for $9.99 at Best Buy, local store nearby. And so installed it, and we're going to check it out, see what it's all about. And I guess we'll be doing it on normal difficulty. So let's just accept that. Now, uh, cutscenes and all that stuff, I usually tend to be quiet because I like to watch what's going on. So hopefully, um, you know, when there are cutscenes, I definitely do try my best not to talk through them. Like this. Wow, beautiful. Looking good for a 360 game of all things. But yeah, I'll be quiet now, and we'll kind of watch uh, the opening cutscene. I'm grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased at how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, that hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they live like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon, we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Ms. Johns wants him for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns 
Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. Bashan's family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. <laughs> What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts. It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other. And who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes... I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Oh, okay, so it uh, puts us right in control of our guy here in Armadillo. We don't even know why we've been sent on the train, but in fact, we were sent off on the train by those two other other guys uh, who led us to the train station. Well, let's just walk around and see what's up. Avatar Award Unlocked. Hmm, okay. Oh boy, I hope we don't constantly get bombarded by unlocking of achievements up at the top. That's kind of annoying, but that's alright. Um, I'm not sure what buttons we need to be pressing. Oh, I'm just, actually I'm kind of pressing buttons. If you press down A, you run. Okay, cool. Um, let me see. If we press this button, what do we got? A journal. Uh, let's see. Here's the overview. Overview. The blip on your map indicates a mission objective. Head to the yellow dot on the map and approach the X. Okay. Oh yeah, there it says to run, hold A to sprint, tap A quickly, and then use the left. Uh, stick to walk around, use right stick to look around. Okay. So far, it sounds good. Get out of here. So, I guess the saloon is straight ahead. Oh, it's behind this building. Yeah, it's behind this building. There's a saloon right there. I have to say, the game looks actually pretty darn good. Or as old as this game is, I believe it came out in what, 2010? Maybe 2011? Okay, here's a drunk guy. So here's the X mark to spot. I think we found where we need to be. friends but pleased to meet you Jake I got the horses saddled up and ready out front all right so we got to follow Jake to the horses everything seems to be very well like spelled out as to what we need to do so far it seems pretty simplistic I like the map overview on the corner Okay, I'm assuming this is our horse. 
Uh, ride horse hit Y. Okay. Company Jake to Fort Mercer. Okay. Yeah. Spur your horse to move faster. Tap A. If you hold A, your horse will maintain its current speed. Okay. Come on. There you go. Oh, I see. Hold A. There you go. Wait. Oh, the right button is to slow down and stop your horse. Oh my gosh. I almost ran into the train up there. So it's Fort Mercy you want to visit? That's right. Ain't taking nobody up to the fort in a long time. All right, here we go. Wait, no. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. It's kind of... It's kind of difficult to control the horse. Alright, dude, just go. I'll, fo I'll try to follow you. I don't know that I like this uh, running speed. I find it difficult to stay um, at the current speed because if I hit, you don't look much like no black border, if I man. double tap A, I always seem to go too fast. Much at all. Blackwater ain't much of a city, more of a town with delusions, but no, me neither. I'll just manually keep doing it. I'll just keep. Tapping A when I need to. A fella told me he was out in Blackboard a few months back and stole one of them newfangled carriages without horses. Is that so? And you wind him up like a clock. Damn the thing ye ever saw without the aid of liquor, he told me. Times are changing fast. That's for sure. This is sure a windy road. Why aren't we just going straight up the hill? Concern yourself with. Never you mind all my questions, Mr. Marston. I just reckon you might be barking out of not heading for the fort. We'll see when we get there. But I sure as hell ain't sticking around. Fort Mercer ain't no place for an old man like me to be a dawdler. Hold B to focus on important people, places, and events. Look at the carcass. Oh, so I, I, do we need to go back to the carcass? Because I missed it. Hold on. No, I want to go back to the carcass, right here. Look at the carcass. Okay, here we go. Oh, is this the carcass that they're talking about? Oh, I see. Okay. I just didn't see the carcass on the way up, so... Alright, let's just keep on going. All right, we have returned. All right, here's Fort Mercer, looks like. Listen, mister. This here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> No, uh, he's kind of an oddball, isn't he? Alright, what do we gotta do? Just approach Fort Mercer. Alright. See what's going on in this ghost town and see who took it over, I guess. Some bandit gang or something. Or the there's the X on the on the paveway, that's where we need to go. 
All right, here we are. We have arrived. Bill! Bill, I've come for you! Bill Williamson! Come out here right now! Go away now, John. Don't make me kill you. Nobody needs to kill anyone, Bill. You must think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. You only seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> You implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different now, John. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more you. <laughs> implores you. I, I implores you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well... Uh. Oh. <laughs> Poor John. Okay, ow. They shot us. Oh, we're still laying there. Holy smoke. We're going to be eaten by a vulture soon. Somehow we crawled all the way back here. Being helped by the local villager. That's nice of them. Maybe they can patch us back up. New friends, old problems. I guess this is chapter... I don't know what chapter we're on, but... That is what this is called. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite word for it. I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was... Oh, I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. You should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarland. Miss Bonnie McFarland. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarland. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance. For old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. 
Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. I'll bear that in mind. Hello. <laughs> all right, so we are all patched up. I have to say, uh, for it, again, the game is a little bit older. Um, I've seen a little bit of gameplay of Red Dead 2. And in comparison to this one, Red Dead 1, obviously the graphics are a little worse in this game, but I have to say it, uh, it's very, still, it's very pretty. It, uh, for a 360 game, this is pretty darn amazing. I don't think that this is how it looked back when it came out. Uh, and I do believe that it is Xbox One enhanced because we are playing it on an Xbox One X. So perhaps there's some additional hardware, you know, graphic shading and additional things are happening now on this hardware that wasn't present on the 360. But yeah, look at this. This looks really good for an older game. So far, the story sounds pretty cool. Uh, let's just go ahead and we're just gonna follow the main storyline. I guess we could walk around and talk to everybody, but I kind of just want to get on with the story. Seems good enough. I bet if we approach someone, can we talk to them? No, I guess we cannot. They're just standing there. Huh. That's weird. I thought for sure that we could have talked to people. But I guess not. Alright, so here we are at the ranch house. Bonnie, I guess, is inside. Mr. Marston, oh. back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. Uh, well, I guess we're going to be doing some chores to earn back the $15 they spent on the doctor saving me. We'll be to focus on important people, places, and events. There's the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws, such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. Look at the stockade. Where's the stockade? I don't know where the stockade is. Are you getting on the horse or not? I'm working on it. All right, ride a horse. Come on, time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. I'm a little nervous about this horse because I see when you're riding. Close to a companion, you can hold A to match their speed. Okay, let's see. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's okay, good there for we the go. Very convenient. Look at the I don't store. Think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. I'm pressing B, but nothing's really happening. I mean, I'm moving the camera myself, but... Uh, I guess I guess it does turn. Okay. I guess it does turn in the, in the direction that you're pressing and holding B at. Okay. That's the train station. Things sure have changed since the line. Alright, there's the train station. Come on, Mr. Marston, pick up the time. I am, I am, come on. We need to watch out for some trees here. I don't have time to be waiting around. 
Not here, lady. Let's go. Oh, I didn't realize we just made a circle. Okay. All right. Press X when near hitching near a hitching post to save your horse. Oh, I see. Okay. What? I thought we we hit X. What's up? Come on. This is the only chance you're gonna get to rest. Okay. So the horse is hitched. I wonder why the horse almost threw me off. Are you going to the ranch already? I'm not sure what's going on. Alright, lady, look, I'm coming. You'll only get lost. <sighs> How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. We'd best get moving. This is a dangerous time of night for us. All right, I guess we're going to mount up and see what's out there. We'll probably get some shooting target practice. Right, follow me. Keep your eyes peeled for anything suspicious. Come on! Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. All right, let's see if we can shoot something. Hopefully the aiming on the Xbox One controller Look isn't too bad. How do we dismount again? Oh, why? Okay. Let's see that rifle. I want a couple of these for the pop. Get rid of the rabbits. Oh, wow. We have to shoot them. All right. LT to draw and aim your current weapon. Left trigger. Here we go. Uh, and then LT will snap to the target. No, it doesn't. Doesn't really snap anything. Okay. There we go. Okay, not bad. And we're shooting rabbits. My gosh. Is that a rabbit? No. I think we scared them off. Okay. I guess we could have shot a few more, but we weren't that fast. Aren't we supposed to take these rabbits with us? Let's get going. We've still got plenty of ground to cover. Oh well. Yeah. If it's not the rustlers stealing our cattle, it's the rabbits stealing our crops. It ain't never easy living off the land like this. Maybe you should move to a big city, become a lady of leisure. Yes. Was that a coyote? Get those pets before they scare the uh -oh. livestock. Easy now. Oh, 
Where are they? I can't find any. Using dead eye and dead eye meter. Oh, it's over there. Hold up. Hold up. You're scaring him off. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Man, that's hard. It's hard. Oh, there we got one. We got one. Oh, I almost shot her. Okay, shot one. Wait. Okay, get over here. Let's go. Okay, ho 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 ho. Whoa. Come on. Okay. Oh, we gotta reload. Come on, dude. Got one more. Are oh, you way over there? Where is he? I don't even see him anymore. Oh, uh, we're too late. Man, the snap feature doesn't really seem to. Uh, Can we not jump over this one? Okay. The snap feature didn't seem to lock on to the target very well. That's very strange. All right, we're back. get separated from your horse it will return to the hitching post outside your house okay there we go thank you for your help mr marston makes me kind of happy i saved your life get some sleep and i will see you in the morning good night miss mcfarland so we have our own little house you can sleep in the bed in your room to save your game oh nice okay if you sleep, you will wake up six hours later. You can also pick up extra ammo from the trunk in your room. Dead eye level one of three. Okay. All right, so general stores. Oh, I missed it, but it looks like general stores and it will offer supply ammo. Some people deal in valuable information about the surroundings in the form of maps. Okay. Yeah, we can uh, check that out too. Let's save the game. I guess we just hit Y. And he'll go to sleep. I don't know why he doesn't close the door. So, before we head out, let's check out what we can do here. Where's our trunk? Open container. See what's in here. Have any kind of goodies? Revolver ammo. Repeater ammo. So that's it. We just have a revolver and repeater. Okay. Hello. Alright, just kind of a nice little little shack. Are we supposed to close the door behind us or what? Seems like a little guest house of sorts, maybe. Let's take a look and see if we need to meet up with Bonnie again. Oh, there she is. The B for Bonnie. wonder if we need to take our horse or not. Let's just grab the horse, just in case. Otherwise, we have to run all the way back here. So, on the map, it shows a green house location. I guess that's our... Uh, Temporary house. 
for now. So we'll just make note of that. Okay, so let's just meet her inside. Obstacles in our path. I guess that's a new a new chapter. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you doing today? I'm well, Miss McFarland. Thank you. How are you? Well, I'm fine. Thank you. So, uh, how are your ribs? Fine. A little sore, but apart from a couple extra scars, it'll be as nothing happened. Good. Uh, come in, come in. You know, you never did tell me how you met that Bill Williamson or what you wanted from him. No, miss, I did not. Well, why not, if you don't mind me asking? I certainly don't mind you asking if you don't mind me not telling. See, it's a complicated and somewhat pathetic tale, and by telling you, not only will I be putting your life in danger, but also threatening the lives of some people that I hold very dear. Well, I apologize if I seem to be prying. And I apologize for my reticence. Hope you believe me when I say that it's simply out of respect for you. Of course, Mr. Marston. I understand that a city dweller such as yourself likes to have some exotic secrets, so us country folk are impressed. <laughs> I'm no city man, miss. Yeah, but I saw you get on the train at Blackwater. You with those gentlemen in bowler hats? I'm still no city man. But I'll bet you can't ride, Mr. Marston. I hate to take money from a lady, miss. <laughs> oh, you won't be. I'll race you right now. If it makes you happy. We'll see. Oh boy, we got ourselves a race. All right, I'll show you how we ride around these parts. Oh, I forgot to hitch the horse. Glad it uh, ended up over here. All right, saddle up. How are you today? Go. Where's she headed? Okay, there. Well, where are we going? Two, oh my gosh. One, go. I think we'll stay behind That's her right. this time. Let's, you don't know me at all, Mr. let's stay behind her because obviously we have to go toward the fire, toward the smoke. I, thought you said you could ride. I don't know how long this course Ready is. I can't read what that says. Loyalty with yeah. mount, something or another. I Are don't want to keep looking up there. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Hold it, hold it, hold up. Hold up. This is gonna be close. Oh my god. Wow. Oh neck and neck, Miss McFarland! Man. Alright, so where do we go next? Oh, we have to go this way. I have no... I can't even follow the road. This is not the easiest thing to do, I tell you what. Alright, we need to hurry up, because... I don't know how much longer the track is, but... Uh, no, I guess not. Is it this jolly? Okay, uh, where do we go next? Oh dear. This is how it's done. Okay, okay, where, where, where to next? I am. Let's no, go. oh my gosh, no, no, no. Oh. Yeah. Go, 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 go. All right, here. Whoa there. Are we going? I'm coming, don't you worry. Okay, I think we might be winning. I bet you're starting to regret your brave words, Mr. McFarland. Are we getting there? Oh, man. All right, now I can see clearly where we're headed. Hopefully. Okay. Are we supposed to let her win or what? 
Come on. Too late for that. I think. Oh wow. I kind of think I should have let her win. Maybe that would have been the proper thing to do. That was fun. Sure. You know, you should go pay the marshal a visit in Armadillo sometime. I'm sure he could help you deal with that nice Mr. Williamson. Yeah, I might just do that, Miss McFarland. You do whatever you think best, Mr. Marston. All right, a fame is plus 20. Okay. Well, I'm still a little worried that I wonder if we should have let her win. Would we get a different outcome or would that be a mission failure and we would have had to do it over? I'm not sure. I kind of want to try it again and reload the save and do it over, but... Ah, uh, let's just go with this for now. So, okay. So now we just have to go back to... Miss Bonnie. See if we can start the cutscene. This is Armadillo Hi, USA. Mr. Marston, how are you? Good, Miss McFarland. How are you? I'm well. Would you mind riding with me to Armadillo? I've got to get some supplies and I could do with the company. Of course. You can take the reins. It wouldn't do for a terrifying bounty hunter such as yourself to be seen driven around by a woman. <laughs> Take the reins, Mr. Marston. All right, so we're going to ride on the wagon with Bonnie. To get on a wagon, approach the driver's... Oh, the driver's seat. we got to go around the other side. Okay. Can we stop wasting time and get on oh with it, Oh, my goodness. Please? Okay, all right. Drive the wagon to Armadillo. All right. You're looking much better, considering you were almost buzzard food a couple days ago. I have you to thank for that, miss. So do tell me, have you needlessly risked your life since we last spoke? No, miss, I have not. Well, that's a relief. Perhaps there's hope for you yet. I wouldn't bet on it. Oh, there's always hope, Mr. Marston. You can't be a rancher in this kind of country if you don't believe that. An admirable attitude, miss. I suppose so. I can't think of any other way to stay sane, to be frank. What about you? Have you ever given up hope altogether? Hope hasn't really entered into it. It's not really something I think about. Okay, we need to stay on the road, outlook. though. I can't really say I understand you. I can't always say I do either. Oh, don't be so deliberately inexperienced. Somebody's blocking the road up here. Yes, you are. You are being deliberately obscure as a substitute for having a personality. I just know there are two theories to arguing with women, and neither one works. I'm not even going to dignify that gibberish with a response. All right, we're getting somewhere. You never did tell me where you live. I have a small holding up in Great Plains. A farmer? Yeah, <laughs> and I'm the Queen of England. And at what oh, point wow. during your day of hunting down outlaws? I do thought you we were gonna run over the horse. Chicken? Only been at it three years or so. I guess I'm kind of new to it. You're telling me? So who's looking after this farm of yours right now? Uncle. Well, he's not my uncle, as far as I know. Just an old dog who's as lazy as a lizard on a hot day. Kind of fella laboring under the delusion that age brings wisdom. Uh, sounds like the perfect person to leave in charge of your entire livelihood. We go way back, and I didn't have a lot of choice. I'd be getting back there if I was you. That's what I'm trying to do, miss. All right, we're catching up to everybody on the road here. Hopefully, we can keep driving straight. I don't. We talked about coming down here many times, but never made it. Who's we? Me and the folks I used to used to work with. Yeah. Look at this guy. He just the last real outlaw country. Taking up the whole the road, whole dude. Truth. Let's go. Do a man wrong, he'll shoot you for it. Do a man right? Well, he still may shoot you for it. But at least you have an idea of what's right and what's here wrong go. here. Dear, oh dear, Mr. I think Armadillo is straight ahead. You get that romanticized drivel out of. Those days are long gone if they were ever here at all. According to Paul, those days were just people shooting each other because they lost the card. We'll be lucky if our ranch survives another five years. Businessmen are the new cowboys. All right, we made it. 
Guess we better slow down in town. Alright, we've arrived. So this is Armadillo. Manhattan it is not. But it does okay for us. Most important thing for you right now is getting yourself into Dr. Johnson's office to purchase some medicine. The first one's on me. Thank you, miss. I'll pay you back. I'm sure you shall. The doc's a good fellow. He saved your life, so be polite to him. Meet me in front of the general store when you're done. Yes, ma'am. All right, so we got to go to the doctor's office and get some more meds. Hopefully he won't charge us an arm or leg and a liver for them. All right, let's go inside. Hey, Doc. Uh, let's see. We need some medicine. What, the medicine's free? Really? Well, we'll take a medicine, I guess. Here, let's look at the info. Medicine completely restores your health. Alright, let's buy it. Sold. So I guess we got our medicine. Medicine and other consumable items stored in your satchel. Oh, we never pressed that button yet before. Here, let's try it. So that's our satchel. Consumable. Uh, wait. Kit and provisions. Okay. Do we have to, um, consume the medicine right now? I, I don't know. As you get injured, the screen will gradually turn red. When it's dark red, you will die. Okay. All right, let's uh, let's go back to Bonnie. Uh, hello. Where is our health bar? Is that the red line on the side of the map? I guess it is. Okay. Go back to Bonnie. Well, thanks for driving me. It was nice to be able to enjoy the view for once, and the little company never hurts now and again. You're more than welcome, Miss. Least I can do. Thank you for the medicine. Why don't you have a look around Armadillo? You can always take a stagecoach back to the ranch later. I might just do that. Travel safely, miss. Try not to get yourself shot. I won't be around to save you this time. Good plan. Alright, so I guess we're going to be looking around Armadillo for some trouble. Not sure what kind of trouble we'll find. If you want to leave Armadillo, there are usually stagecoaches loading and unloading behind the freight station. Okay. Plus 50 honor. You now purchase and rent properties marked with the Blue House logo. Okay. Once purchased or rented, you can save your game and each location has a hitched horse and extra ammunition and items. Oh, that's cool. Poker is available to play at a number of locations. So how do we see our overall map? I mean, the mini map is cool, but... Where is... Here, info. What is this? War horse. Special dark brown horse with light mane. So that's our, our, our horse, but... How do we look... At a map? Do we even get one? Maybe maybe we don't have one. I guess we don't have a map. 